Hello and welcome to episode 10 of my FIFA 21 Hoarders Road to Glory. Now in today's episode I'll be trying out the two new boys that I managed to get in yesterday's video. Both Thiago Silva and Diogo Jota. Now they both relatively can slot straight into the team and keep pretty good chemistry. But I will have to change a few players to make sure that they're on max chem. So I'll be back in a second with that team. So here is the team that I have decided to go with for this game, two games of Div Rivals. We've brought in Diego Carlos, I packed him untradeable, I'm yet to use him. He has a very nice card but I just couldn't really fit him in but now I've got Thiago Silva, it works really well. Jota I'm going to have to play on 7 chem, well I don't have to but I'm, I'm going to. Just because Rashford, he's my main striker, I was going to drop him for Jota but I feel like I'd be better off with having Rashford calvert Loon up front with Jota at Cam. We're trying out Edson Fernandez, who has a very, very solid card. For oh, the 1.6k I spent for him, he looks like he'll be worth every penny. And yeah, let's just get straight into Division Rivals. Here we go then, game number one of two. And my opponent has a very, very solid Calcio A team. With some very meta cards, Gomez, Mart Mertens, they're both very good on this game. Now Golan's good on every FIFA, Manolas and Koulibaly, solid, solid defensive partnership. And you can see that he's got a good team by the fact that he goes 1-0 up in the 15th minute with a nice wee finesse with Lautaro Martinez, who's quite good this year. But this just kicks me on to go and score very early with a lovely finish from Calvert-Lewin. Now I must say, in my Calvert-Lewin review video, I enjoyed him, but I felt he was quite inconsistent, but in this game... He, he really proved to me that he was unbelievable, as Jota actually gets on the score sheet very soon after that Calvert-Lewin finish, with a, a tidy wee finish. And uh, if you can see that there, I, I, a bit of lag on my side. Sadly, all of these games that you're going to be watching were very laggy, and, well, Thiago Silva and Jota actually played three games for the club, because I had a DC in the 20th minute, which was quite unfortunate, but it was nil-nil with a lovely volley from Calvert-Lewin there. But yeah, it was nil-nil, DC, nothing happened. So I had to play a third game, which you'll be seeing as the second game of the episode. Nice wee through ball from Rashford there as Jota blasts the ball into the roof of the net with a lovely, lovely finish. Now I was playing 4-1-2-1-2 uh, with Jota at Cam with Calvert-Lewin and Rashford up front. And it, it worked a treat. And as you can see here, the other new boy, who I made this clip extra long because you can see him play the initial pass to start the attack and you can see him sprint up the whole pitch and he actually manages to finish it very well. Now here, a very very solid Bundesliga team, a very sweaty team, Bellarabi, Bailly and Rashika, all very good. Lamer, Sabitzer and Delaney, very very solid this year, very solid in fact. And uh, well. I'll just tell you this now, this game was the exact same as the last game, except it was roles reversed. I scored nice and early with the Jota, but that's when things went downhill. He scores a nice wee goal there with Rashika. And uh, let's just say I was I was quite upset for Carlos and Silva not being able to keep that clean sheet in the first game because they actually had a very solid performance in this game. Thiago Silva got quite exposed, he tackles him there but it rebounds back to Savitzer, finishes it nicely in the bottom corner. Here Rashika's just running the rings around me. To be fair the 4 one 2, one 2 I was playing very attacking. I had five attackers on the pitch with five defenders and there was just a gap in the midfield that you can see there. So uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't ideal. Normally I would play the 4-1-3-2 which has a bit better balance because instead of that cam on stay forward I've got a box to box centre mid which sort of evens it up as that wee connecting point. Carver Loon with another lovely, lovely finish into the roof of the net again. Uh, but that was sadly the final scoreline, 5-2 loss. But overall I'd have to say this team played pretty well. The lag was unfortunate, it was really difficult to play. Uh, Neto, he did his job I guess as an 82 goalkeeper, you wouldn't expect much. Carlos was very, very good. 
If I could fit him in my starting eleven, I would probably do so. Because he was very, very good. Thiago Silva in the first game, he was actually unreal to be honest. I was surprised at how good he was. He made up for his lack of pace with his defending and just defensive awareness. He was he didn't really have to run back because he'd always be in the right place at the right time. Uh, Gedson Fernandez, he was sitting right in front of the defence. He also had a very good performance for 1,600 coins. He was very, very good. I feel like if it was a, a week ago and I had discovered Fernandez, he'd probably be staying in the team. But I don't think he's quite as good as Fred now. Fred is very, very good. Uh, Jota, him playing at that cam, I feel like cam is probably his best position right now. Out wide, he's not quite got the pace. At striker, also not quite got the pace, but at that cam position, he's got the pa he's got good enough pace for a cam. He's got the dribbling, he's got the shooting ability, he's got the passing, he's he's really got everything. He's also got that high high and nice aggression. I love a player uh, up front with good aggression because if you can oppress from the front, it pushes your opponent to make mistakes, and it's just very very key. So overall, I'll give the team. I'd say the team worked pretty well, especially in the first game. The first game was a very good performance. I could hang, handle the lag in that game. In the second game, not so much. It was much worse. My opponent was probably better. And uh, they pro they focused play down Thiago Silva, which sort of exposed him a bit. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.